dun. Forget about full screen mode. Dun 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 dun. Hello everyone. Today we're taking a look at flying arrows. I don't know why I couldn't get full screen mode on there, but this is a brand new Game Boy homebrew game made by Studio Loading. And unfortunately, I wanted to show you the box, but I don't think full screen cam is going to work today for some reason. But at least the stream's working because Virgin Media has been down all day, so. I seem to have some sort of signal anyway, so there is the game, and if you can read just above me, over there, Flying Arrows number two is up right now on Kickstarter, so if you like what you're seeing here, then definitely go ahead and check it out. Studio Loadin is in the house. Hello. Let me know whether everything looks and sounds okay. I'm playing it on the Super Game Boy, as you suggested, to see the uh, Super Game Boy borders. So I'm very excited to check those out. Hope you're doing well. And I'm really glad that the Kickstarter's doing well for you as well so far. Which is great news. So, December 2094. Dear, so dear son, the war is lost. So far we survived. I found my way to get out of the zoo. We had been imprisoned. There is hope far in... There is hope far to the castle, but we need amulets to get in. A stone chalice. Is that meant to be chalice? A thunder horn. A stalagmite neck. I'm not sure what that means. A Vulcan pyramid. You can press down to make this go a bit faster, I know that. The strongest beasts own those. I can't fight them. You were born the day of the big moon. Since that day, animals all over the world disarm and attack us as humans to restore the law of the jungle. I am a veterinary healer. This is too much for me to take. I don't really understand any of this yet. I give you my, my shield and my bow. Here is how to use them. Down shield, A jump, B fly arrow. I guess that means fire arrow. Up and B, fly upwards, fly downwards, jumping. Okay, fire down. Select, change amulet, down and A, interact, get a tip. See you at the castle with all my love, mum. Okay, a very strange message from my mum right there. And I guess we have to go through all these levels and pick up all of those different amulets that it mentioned. And I remember that from my many different previews of this game. And you can talk in here and interact with all the people, so... What have we done? Am I going to see the Mario movie? Yes! I am going to see it. I'm going to see it the day it comes out. I got tickets for my birthday. I'm very excited. I think it just looks fantastic. On the upper level, someone is laughing. What are they laughing about? Should we go and find out? Is there anything on this side? Is that a secret? I'm going to try and take my time playing this as well, to try and uncover everything. Apparently that is nothing. Whee! I don't know if I'm actually on anything there, but that seemed to work. Where's this person who's laughing? Is that them? Thank you, here is the key. Ha <laughs> ha. He was laughing for some reason. What does he say now? Oh, he says the same as the other guy. There's a guy in a thing up there as well, but I don't think I can interact with him. Right, now I know there's two different ways to go. You can drop down here and go to the left into one of these little treasure rooms. Um, I didn't see what came out there. Plus ten. So, is anyone else watching planning to go and see the Mario movie soon? Are you as excited as I am? Or are you as nonplussed as Seth Rogen is? I read an article earlier saying that he refused to do a voice for Donkey Kong. He would only do it if he didn't have to put on a voice. Which seems a little bit... sad. Um, and he also didn't turn up in any sort of costume to the uh, red carpet thing for it either. Which again is a bit... is a bit sad. Whee! I love doing that. That's such a cool mechanic. And here we are back in the same little bonus room. I wonder if there's different layouts of these as we get further into the game. 
And I should say, well, oh, I dropped off somewhere else there. I should say while I'm playing this as well, if you have a look at the banner at the top, the sequel is actually up on Kickstarter right now. They won't show it in Russia. Oh, you're in, you're in Russia. They won't, they won't show it. Is that because Nintendo doesn't agree with what's going on there? That's not fair on people who just live there, though, is it? I'm sure you can find a way to watch it. Let's say that. Super Mario movie seems to be the greatest adaptation. I think it'll make every everyone happy. I think so too. I know someone on Twitter told me earlier that his his kids and his kids' friends have actually booked out a cinema to go and watch it, and that, that must be so exciting for all the kids there. I wish there was a Mario movie like that from when I was a kid. I would have been insanely hyped for it. I mean, I still am. Sonus Leo, hello. How is it in Finland? Is it as cold as it is here in the UK? It's probably colder. A black wolf owns the wrench. I need to exit. Let's fight. Wow, we've got people from all over the world here then. Studio loadings in Italy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Narrator, let's call me Narrator, is over in Russia. And Sonus Leo is in Finland. And I'm over here in the UK. That's so cool that things like this, you can, uh, you become part of NATO. Oh, wow. Don't get in a fight with narrator over in Russia. This is a politics free zone. Oh, yeah, if I remember right, you need to attack him from underneath. Weird, there's no music. This Mario movie has to be watched multiple times. Yep, yeah, I'm actually booked in to see it twice already. I'm going with my girlfriend on Wednesday, and then I'm going with a friend whose stag do I'm going to on... going to see it on Friday with him. So I'm already booked in to watch it twice. Twitch is politics free. That's good. There needs to be some space that's free of politics. Hey! I just needed the wrench to go on. Sorry, Blackie. Okay. Is he okay? Did I actually kill him? He's just stood there. I'll pretend he's fine. He's he's just he's just giving me the key. There we go, that is level one complete. Now we are going on to level two through the sewer. And hey, I guess while Studio Loden's here, do you want to let the viewers know a bit about the thought process behind this game? And some of your ideas for these levels. Did you uh, get any inspiration from any other games? A lot of NES games take place in sewers, that's why I was kind of wondering this. Looks like you can go this way as well. Is there something down here? There is something, but I also have to be careful not to touch those. Oh, I fell through the floor. I think I found a glitch. Oh yeah, Studio Loden as well. How's Bologna Park looking? Do you think you're going to have the funds to uh, try and pay for that building that you wanted? What's in there? I don't know what that is. Are they lives? Are they shields? Whoa! Fast floor. This is like a Mega Man section. We're going to have to do a bit of arrow hopping to get over there. I don't know how to go fast enough to get on it. Oh, you can just stand on the background. Can you? I've still done something then. Is there an invisible... Invisible ledge for me to jump onto? Many games have a sewer stage. Yeah. I don't know why so many... Oh, there's a platform there. Wait. I'm not sure what's going on with the floor here. Sometimes I'm able to stand on these pipes. Sometimes I'm not. Explain this section to me. What am I doing wrong? You're working on a Game Boy game as well. Awesome. What kind of game is it? Is it a platformer like this? Is it an RPG? In I was about to say RPG Maker. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it.
there's a few weird things going on here. Let's see if we can get in that door. Oh, we're back in the same little bonus room. A space schmuck. Awesome. I love those kind of games. I'm looking forward to um, Genesis 2. That's a Game Boy shoot em up that's coming out soon. What kind of shoot em up is it? Horizontal? Vertical? Are you doing anything unique? Let us know all about it. I'd love to play it at some point. Right, do I go down or do I go across? Let's try going down because there's someone over there that wants to talk to me. I'll never get out. Please take my wrench. Free us all. Okay. Can I not use the wrench to save you? Apparently not. You can do this! He believes in me. I can do it. There's a few weird things going on where I'm kind of falling through the floor or standing on things above the floor. Take those spiders out. Is there anything I missed up here? Oh, good job I didn't go that way, because that doesn't really go anywhere anyway. Let's keep going. That item up there has been a cruelty. You'll never get there. But if you... Uh, I want you to try so you can improve your jump skill. Was that the bit I was talking about before? I think my internet might be a little bit slow today. I was having a lot of trouble with Virgin Media earlier, so if I am a bit late replying to any of your uh, messages on here, then I apologise about that. But hopefully everything's clear enough anyway. Um, the exit is b beyond a gator. I need his amulet. Let's fight. Let's go fight the gator. Revenge of the gator. Filthy human! I'll make a belt out of your skin. Likewise, Mr. Gator. Okay, let's go. I'm a bit scared. What do I need to do to attack the gator? If it's anything like the other one, there's something a bit different. I'm not using an emulator, I'm using the actual cartridge for this. Is he going to attack me? I'm using the Super Game Boy 2. Press select to... Press select to the something symbol and break the gate. Yeah, using the SNES. The stone chalice. Now I can throw stone arrows. Awesome. Let's try throwing a stone arrow. Press select. And we can break through the gate. Yay. Uh, I'm actually playing it on the Super NT, which I guess uh, runs the same as the SNES does. I love this music. This music's so good. Okay, so the stone arrows can't defeat the spiders. That's something we need to bear in mind. I haven't found any use for the money yet. Why, why is the arrow going that way? Is there any benefit to killing the enemies? Or is it safe just to run past them? I don't think I'm missing it. Whoa! What are these Mega Man style kamikaze birds? 100 coins is a one up. Okay. Well, we're nearly there. Although you did tell me earlier on Discord not to worry about dying, so there is that. Gotta be really careful here because those birds are a bit crazy. Am I in water? Maybe. Is that why I'm being really slow to move? Ah! Kill as many enemies as I can. Okay, I'll try. Bye! Do they drop anything? 
I haven't seen them drop anything yet. Come on! Ah! Oh, we did a little bit of a, a ledge hop there. Treasure! I need dexterity to get to the end of this forest. Okay. Is that what the treasure told me? I bet it's really frustrating watching someone else play this. Because you know the whole game off by heart. Oh no! Don't want to stand in there! Ah, let me up! Oh no! The character's scarf's moving. I'm going to pay attention to that now, I didn't notice that. Oh yeah, nice, nice little animation touch. You know what else as well, Studio Loading? I really like the fact that you, uh, you stuck to using the small sprites. You can see a lot more of the screen. It kind of reminds me of, um, like Batman or Mario Land. Oh no! I almost had it then. I almost had it without going on the platform. That was pretty good going. Pretty fine arrow skills. Oh, there's another one. Is he stuck? I think he got stuck on the platform. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that one. Whoa, what happens if I go on the side of that one? Whee! Okay, that's cool. What do I think about Resi 4 Remake? I've been really, really enjoying it, actually. I haven't played it as much as I would like to have, but from what I've played so far, it's really, really good. I've been playing it on expert mode as well to make it a bit more interesting and a bit more challenging, and I'm really enjoying it. An eagle owns the key I need to exit. Let's fight! Come on then, eagle. Let's fight. Nice big sprite for the eagle. As long as I fly, the sky is mine! Hope you don't mind. In my claws, you die. It's a very poetic eagle. Whoa! Whoa, we came out of nowhere! Do I maybe try the stone arrows? I haven't really had a use for them yet. Oh no! Small sprites like Mario, Man Mario Land. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Makes sense why they're bigger in the sequel now, then. That's a cool little nod. If I stand here, am I safe? I don't think I'm actually causing any diff any uh, damage to him. Whoa! Ah! Uh, where can I stand? <laughs> yes. Else you could just cheese it from standing down the, down the bottom, like I was trying to. Let's try from over here. Come on! He's flying backwards. Moonwalking. That's not doing anything either. Is it the stone ones? Oh, is it the regular ones? Ah, go away! Let me get back up. There we go. Now I'm hurting him. Oh god, oh god! That... Movement on the on the feathers, that's scary. Okay, okay, I know what to do now. I have one more attempt, I think, before I get sent back to the start of the stage. Two more hits. Ah! Ah, that was close. Okay. Come on! No, one more. Yay, I did it! I just needed the key to go on. Sorry, eagle. Where is the key? Is it down here? Oh, did I just get it? Well, he's okay anyway. He's still flying. Yeah, that was a fun fight. I like all the different little platforms that are dotted around. I also just noticed I really like the twinkling in the background too. The stars in the background. If we go up here. Have a look on the left up there. I like that. And the moon. Very nice. Kind of hmm, Mega Man 4 style at the top of Ringman stage. Alright, we are on to level 4. The sky is the limit. We're going higher up. That's nice. We've got some nice cloud lining going on there. And another different music track too. Awesome. 
Whoa, and... Is that supposed to be lightning? I thought they were snakes for a second. Ah, uh, I've not got the time in for the arrows down. There we go. Whee! Don't worry, no animals were hurt. They all just get back up straight after you kill them. Mm, I'm scared. Oh, is it not actually hurting me? It's just pushing me around. Are they tornadoes? Oh, cool. That turns the arrows into lightning. Whoa, okay, there's the thunder. Lightning, should I say. Wow, this is a cool stage. I like this one. Ow! Oh. oh no, don't want to get too close to the sky. I love the originality in this level. Oh no, it's a trap. I need to go close to the sky. Whoa, that was close again. Do I need to keep going up? Oh, that was a trap too! That's a very unfriendly environment. These cloud formations are out to get me. Let's see whether I can get through it without taking any damage this time. Ah, uh, that didn't last long. Okay, I'm paying attention now. So I need to go up this way. And not rush it, and then down on this one. Is it? Yes. Oh, we must be near the end, come on. No! Very unfriendly environment. Maybe I'm trying to go too fast. If I slow down a bit, it might be a bit safer. Ow! Uh, up here, right? Okay, this is the furthest I've got with this much health. Let's see where I'm meant to go. There's the exit. Let me out! Uh, I got there with one bit of health left. Okay. Let's see what the next boss is. Oh no, I skipped it! Oh. Well, I think I get the idea. Not that. Okay, you have to stand on there to get enough. Oh my god! Are you gonna come back? Whoa, he's angry! He charged at me! Okay, it's one of those games where zero counts as a life as well. Nice. Is there anything on the other side? Ah, maybe that's how to do it. One more hit. He's pretty easy. Yay! Press select to select the symbol and break the gate. Okay, what kind of arrows do we have this time? The thunder horn! Now I can throw thunder arrows. Is he okay? He's fine. No animals were harmed in the making of this stream. Now we got thunder arrows. So let's jump down from the sky and see where it's taking us next. We're onto the bottom path. There's also looks like there's some sort of secret there on the on the left as well. Welcome to the jungle. And we got this classic music back again. Thunder arrows, are they good against bees? Yes. The sprite's a bit weird to the side. Like when you when you're shooting it up or down you can tell that it's supposed to be lightning, but I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a block of cheese or something. Okay, now we're back in here again. I 
I'm very intrigued to see how different the sequel is. From what I've played so far, it's very different. And like I said earlier, anyone that's watching, go ahead and check out Flying Arrows 2 on Kickstarter. It's actually live right now. I watched the... It's a Tetris movie on, on Apple TV+. Plus. It's really good, actually. I watched it the other day. Very cool. I mean, they did sort of... Hmm, stretch the truth a little bit, people could say. It might be interesting to watch from your perspective, being in Russia. Where do I go now? This way? I don't know why, but I thought this floor was unsafe. It looks like it's spiking. Huh, a nice little platforming puzzle there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at me and my Game Boy platforming skills! Get the thunder arrows back out for this key. Hey, cool. We got uh, an extra. Whoa, a full set of lives. Awesome. Hello, teddy bear. Let me pass. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't hurt a little teddy bear. Whoa, scary teddy bear. Okay, what is the idea with the teddy bear? No. Is that doing anything? I should use the arrow bouncer to strike faster. I'm not sure what's going on on this fight. When am I hurting him? Whoa, I've really tanked the frame rate here. I just needed the wrench to go on, sorry bear. Somehow I killed him, but uh, I have no idea how. That one was just a fluke. But I'm glad the bear's okay. How do I get to that special stage there on the left? I want to know how to go back. Ice cold. Now we've got an ice level. With penguins. Angry penguins. That don't let me move. Wow, that was a bit unfair. Okay. Bring it on, Angry Penguin. Oh, okay, you can't touch that either. Oh, that's that's a cool little concept. The way you can break apart those icicles. The penguins take a lot of hits. Okay. And you can't touch the icicles on the ceiling either. Noted. Oh my god. And they're coming down from the ceiling too. Ah! Okay, there's one of the doors. Do I really need to go this way? There was only ten, was it? Oh well, that was easy. Okay, enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. The penguins take a lot of normal hits. Try a different kind. Okay. Let's try these lightning ones. Well, that opened the door, so I'm guessing lightning is the one to use. No? Okay, let's try the penguin on the left again. Let's see what... Oh no! Game over. Did nothing. I bet you've been able to get all the way to the end without getting a game over. Let's see if these arrows do more. Nope. You lied to me! What does more damage to him? From above, maybe? No. He tricked me! I'm gonna have to turn turbo fire on. 
I actually don't have turbo fire. I'm playing on the regular SNES controller this time. Because I couldn't find my nice turbo fire one. So I hope there's no button mashing needed. Can I get through? Oh, okay, you can just walk through it. Oh, get off me! I hate it, they just grab onto you and you can't do anything. The penguins float up to heaven. Uh, I'm dead. Let's power through. It's okay. I'll upload the full thing onto YouTube after anyway, so you can always you can always catch up on it then if you need it elsewhere. So I won't get to the end. I presume there's only three levels left. I love the funky music. Hey, it got rid of it that time. I don't know why I did differently. Anyway, let's press on. No, is there an easier way to do this? Nope. Just do it slower. Maybe I was just rushing it a bit. How do I get up there? Is there a secret somewhere? It's kind of a shame that the other arrow types don't really seem to do anything. It'd be cool if there was one that let you, like, stick onto a wall or something. Is there a secret here? Ow! It seems like that's completely inaccessible. Oh my god, let me out of the way! Ugh. There needs to be some sort of iframes between getting hit and taking damage. See if I can do this without stopping. Yay! I'm getting better at it. No idea how to get that treasure chest up there though. Oh, go away! That was close. I knew there would be a dead end. One of these would lead to a dead end. Hey, treasure. I have a long way to go. I am freezing! I forgot I forgot I can check these. Stalactite makes stalagmite grow. Can use these drops. Oh, maybe you're supposed to make platform to stand on. Oh well. Too late now. Well maybe not. I thought we were at another boss then. Let's just keep going. What does everyone else think of this game so far? I think it looks good. A little bit of, bit of a glitch there where I went through the ceiling. And hey, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment. Let me know whether you're still watching at this point in the video. It'd be interesting to know if people do actually watch all the way through these replays. I've had a look at the stats and some people do. Even the massive three hour ones have some people who've watched all the way to the end which is just insane, so I'm glad I'm at least slightly entertaining for you. You must be very bored. So hello, you very bored person watching right now in the future. Ah, oh, right near the end.
and I'm also working very hard on trying to keep up a regular schedule for my main videos as well this week. Or this month, should I say, because I am a little bit pressed for time, so... Although I'm recording this now, the video for this might not be out for a few weeks at least. But, ah, oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This week's one's going to be an N64 video, which I'm looking forward to releasing. And I really want to try and work on the history of the DS video. Again, at some point, I had to put that on hold because I had some other projects that needed to take priority, unfortunately. Oh, have I ruined my chance of getting on that platform now? Don't like these penguins! I need to focus more. I'm standing right on the edge this time, so hopefully they can't get up to me. Okay, we have arrived somewhere new. I'm too scared to get that treasure. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even get it anyway. I thought at least if I stay on the floor, I can try and get it. Okay, let's try again. We're right back at the start. I'm gonna test this out to see whether my theory was correct. Basically I'm thinking you can stand on top of it. But no, it doesn't look like it. It still hurts you. There was another missed opportunity there. Oh, these penguins. They're so frustrating. Why did you make it so they can just keep charging into you? There should be at least a little bit of a, of a gap to allow you to get past them. See, once you get stuck, there's no getting away from them. It's like instant death. Oh my god, I'll end up knowing this level off by heart at this rate. Nice. There's no way of getting up there though. Use these drops. What does that mean? Use these drops. The different arrows do nothing. Oh my god, you have to be fast there. Hey, that's not fair. I didn't touch him then. We're back into the second part of the stage. Filled up my shields again, that's good. Now it's just a case of doing the platforming well enough so I don't fall on the spikes below. Wow, that was lucky. I did not do that very well. Ah, is it easier to stand on top? Maybe. Oh, get off me! Ah, oh, damn it! I hate these penguins so much. Why would you program them like that? Whoa! What's going on there? I just teleported forward for some reason. Can you do that and teleport me past these penguins, please? Okay, now we're back to where we were before. Now, try not to fall in. I'm ignoring the treasure. We're making progress! Progress is being made! Can I keep it up? That was some intense platforming action. Okay, I'm just going for it. Die, penguin! Okay, are we at the boss? Are we at the boss? The exit is beyond the walrus! I need the amulet, let's fight! Okay, let's see what the walrus has in store. Are they all king penguins? Maybe. Maybe that's why they were so difficult.
your arrows won't beat my headbutts is the ice what is the ice knuckles pretty or isn't it am i reading that wrong is the ice knuckles pretty or isn't it i can't even make out what that might be trying to say Whoa, what's going on? Let's try a different kind of we weapon, maybe? I feel like the boss designs were kind of maybe a bit rushed later on in the game. There doesn't seem to be much to do in this one. Is he going to come back up? Okay, that was very, very easy compared to some of the other ones. Now we've got a new type of arrow. Stalagmite Neck. Not a necklace, just a neck. Now I can throw ice arrows. And I can walk on water as well, apparently. Okay, that's the ice arrow. Hello, Mr. Walrus. I kind of blend into his body. Not sure what those squares at the bottom are. Are they things I'm meant to have collected throughout the game or something? Pet cemetery. Oh no, is this where all the bosses go to die? There's a hammer brothers. Okay, weird. It's just like some contraption that's throwing hammers. It's weird there's not been anyone to talk to in the rest of the game, after there was so many, like, interactive spots in the first level. Not really sure what I'm looking at in the background, either. Whoa. There's also, doesn't seem to be that many chances to actually use the arrows to fly on. A lot of the levels just seem like straightforward platforming levels. I thought there would be more of that, considering the name of the game. This isn't the nicest cat I've ever seen. To the best cat ever. I've seen nicer cats. Okay, I saw those skulls there. going on in this level. It's a very straightforward one. And very droney music. There's nothing here. Was there something I missed up there? Nope. It's just an empty room. Ah, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a reference. Kind of fits the theme as well. What was that? Go back to the crypt. I have hid... I have hidden the Vulcan Pyramid underground. What? Okay, go back where? What's the crypt? Back through here. Okay. 
the castle is at the end. I'm not looking for the castle. Am I supposed to go back again? Maybe. I need to look for a pyramid that's been hidden somewhere. Where's Studio Loading gone? I need him back. Anyone watching got any idea of where I'm meant to be trying to go? I can see some platforms down there, but I think that's just... Oh! It's not part of the background, but I found it! Vulcan pyramids, now I can throw fire arrows. Cool. They're the fire arrows, apparently. I found it anyway, yay! Now what? Go back, go back to the end again? Oh, maybe I can get that. That will give me an extra life. Did I break it? It just says three with black boxes next to it. What have I done? I don't know how I managed to ride on that arrow before. Just by jumping in the air. Doesn't look like they get affected by the fire arrows. Oh, they're not getting affected by any arrows. Okay, they are. It's these ones, whatever that one is. Are they thunder ones? Lightning ones, sorry. Oh my god, firing the arrows really tanks the frame rate. Come on, Game Boy, you can handle a few extra lines on the screen. Okay, we're nearly back again. Let's put the new fire ones on. Because I'm guessing that's what we need. I'm back! And I've got the fire arrows. Let's go into the castle! Whoa, that's some weird text there. We have to place all the amulets around the door entrance. Whoa, it was really struggling to do that. The Castle of Fear. Ah, oh, cool, we got a new background. And then we're playing as a girl this time. Grrr! Before I do anything. Hey, to the gates! Thanks for the subscription, again. Howdy, how are you doing? Thank you for healing me, you are my master. Okay, so now I'm going around and actually able to heal the uh, the animals in the zoo. And she's complaining about a weird smell. See, it's not all about animal cruelty. Well, where am I going now? I hope I haven't skipped out most of the level by going up there. I think I might have. Uh, the internet seems fine, the bitrate's perfectly smooth, so I'm not sure what happened earlier. My pets have been punished, punished for their failures! Man, you can tell I'm tired, I mixed two completely different words together there. What do you want, healer? Oh, now I play as the guy, do I have to go and rescue her? With all his different arrows. Yeah, I know there was a national outage, I was trying to keep up with... Everyone's shouting at them on Twitter. Oh my god, people were so mad. They're asking for a, a refund for their two hours of outage. It was fine all the rest of the day. I managed to get through work, no problem. It was only about six o'clock that we noticed it had dropped. And then I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to stream tonight now, am I? Then it came back, so not too bad. How was it for you? Are you on Virgin as well? I can't remember. <clears throat> Someone else at work had no internet, but that's because he had some electricians round, and somehow they blew all the fuses in the house, and they didn't know how to fix it. So, uh, 
I'm not really sure what was going on there, but I said at least it's the electricians that were already in the house, so you don't have to call anyone new out to come and fix it. But that was a bit strange. Mum, son, this guy is abusing the wild animals. Uh-oh. I would call it teaching respect to humans again. Mum, no, the world cannot go back like that. We fight against it. Feeling sorry for the human wardens, are you really? A lot of this text doesn't make any sense. Screech, I'm coming for you, master! Wait, what? He just carried the final boss away for me. And then I just flew off. Go, son! Ride my arrow and get him! <laughs> what a weird game. Okay. Flying arrows. Um. Oh, cool! We've got a little shoot up section. Nice. It limits me to only firing uh, horizontally, though. And you can't move diagonally either, which is going to make this a bit tricky. And it doesn't look like those kind of arrows are doing any damage either. Is that doing any damage? I can't see his health. Maybe not. I'm just going to keep changing the arrow types and see what actually does something. Not much is happening. Is anything happening? I can hear some damage sound effects, but I think that might just be me hitting his projectiles. Pretty sure that's not doing anything. Is it just a survival thing? Maybe. Is there just somewhere I can hide? Yeah, my icon is very slowly moving across the bottom of the screen. Oh my god, the more arrows on the screen, the slower the game moves too. Do I need to do anything? I can jump. Maybe this is kind of a homage to the end of Mario Land, where you're flying around. In that weird little spaceship thing. I don't think I can actually do anything. I've tried all the different types of arrows. I can hit the feathers that are coming towards me, but I don't think it's making any difference. I'll just stay back. I'm nearly halfway. At least this is nowhere near as horrible as the final boss from Repugnant Bounty. Repugnant Bounty. Oh my god. That level drove me crazy. That's where one of the meme faces in the Discord came from. Okay, we are at the halfway point. Let's we'll see if anything actually happens. And once I've finished this game, I am going to end the stream. Kind of a short stream today because I do want to actually try and record my thoughts because this is actually the first video that I'm going to be giving to an editor to actually edit for me so hopefully that can free up some of my time to work on even more interesting videos in the future so I'm going to try and get one video a month edited by someone else. I've found someone I'm really excited to work with so that should be really cool so it'll be interesting to see what he does with all this footage to turn it into something fun. I'll see in a few weeks' time. Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. Maybe I shouldn't share my plans openly in case anything goes horribly wrong, but I'm kind of optimistic about it. Yep. Oh, what's going on? We will end this now. Land my eagle. Where am I going? Oh, that's what that secret bit was. Final fight. 
Honestly, I feel like it's it's time to start paying someone to help me because I just do not have time to do anything for myself. I'm constantly making videos and editing them and that's literally every single day of the week. And I want to play stuff, I want to, you know, work on videos that take more than one week to make. So it should help, it should be better for the channel. Uh, why do you want to be punished? Get out of my way! Or, or what? Mother is not here now, it's just you and me, no mercy! Here's the proper fight. Feel free to take a look under this platform. Okay. Can I just jump in the water? Uh, okay. What am I looking at under the platform? I'm dead. Uh, am I meant to try and get him as he's coming past? Grr. No more human zoos. Okay. And it turned black and white for some reason. Okay. No more human zoos. I get it. Thank you, mother. Um. Okay. I'm really not sure what's going on. Is mother just going to throw a random animal down here again? I thought I'd be able to attack him when he was coming past, but maybe not. Can I come up here and get him? Oh, I can't get back up now. Whoa, if that thing touches you, it's just instant death. Let's try and fight him properly. Whoa. That's not doing anything. Oh my god, okay. I'm not going up the top. Am I just supposed to stand down here and wait until animals get sent in or something? Can I hit him like that? Nope. I don't get this fight. Game over. Hopefully it restarts me from here. The game o the game overs, they do nothing. Is that taking any damage? I don't think that's doing anything. Hey, Studio Loading's back. The guy who made the game. Tell me what I need to do on this fight. I'm completely stumped. Nothing seems to be happening. I thought maybe I was supposed to attack him as he was coming past underneath. Mum says the moves you can do, you remember. She just said, have a look under the platform, right? Somehow I managed to summon an animal at one point. No pressing down and jump to me anything? No. Nope. Look under the platform. That's all she said. Come and have a look under the platform. Oh my god, so glitchy. Uh, Neil, press down to use your shield. Use it against the bullets. Where is he? Look in the platform in the sky.
Am I blind? I can't see a platform up there. You mean that? Oh, can I do that and then use the shield? No. I'll just wait for this guy to kill me and then we can try again. What is that? It's just a, a hand in the floor. Okay. He's back. So I have to go around the other side and use the uh, shield. Okay. Not that way. <laughs> Not that way. Okay. I'll try and jump over him then. Right. Did that do anything? Let me try and figure it out now I've got him back at least. Am I supposed to mix them together? I can't jump over him because he's too tall. Do I need a different arrow type? At least it's unlimited continues, so I can try and figure this out. It said something about looking underneath. Why did it tell me to look underneath? Hey, anyone else watching? There's six people here. What, what do you think I need to do to defeat this boss? Is there a way of firing them back? Okay, I'm going to try and do that and then run away as soon as possible. Oh, I was hoping he would run underneath it, maybe. Yeah, nothing affects him at all. It did say to look underneath. Maybe I need to attack that thing with a certain type of arrow. Or use a shield. Because you can fire them back from there as well. Stand a bit further back. Oh, what? So he's off the screen, maybe? I think that will just bounce him off the screen, though. And then try and jump over him, maybe. Uh, that didn't do anything. Stand a bit further back. But you would have to stand under there though, right? I think the idea is that he runs into his own bullets. Maybe. Like that? And then what? Try more forward. Okay. Like here? Uh, 
Uh, I want to sort of fire them forward or something. Good intuition about his own bullets. What else can I do with them except fire them into that arrow in the sky? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Can I fire them back? There's something I didn't perform. I don't know what else I can do apart from jump and throw arrows. Uh, go that way! Uh, nothing's doing anything. Okay, give me a hint, else I'll be here forever. I'm glad you're here, because I would have just given up at this point. I think it's something to do with going down here. Because it did mention that when I started the fight originally. Something about this one over here? Um, am I supposed to go underneath it by jumping on an arrow, maybe? No. Damn, I really thought I was onto something then with that platform up there. No, that doesn't do anything. Strike his bullets with fire arrows. Uh, which one's fire? Are there, is, why have I only got fire ones? Where's everything else gone? Where's he gone? He got so bored, he just left. Okay, come and get me, weird hand thing. Maybe crocodile. Alright, bring it on. I don't know where my other arrows have gone, but that's the only one I need. Okay, move out of the way. So, hit them with the shield, and then fire them back with a fire arrow. Oh, okay. I would not have figured that out. You have to move away from them and then hit them with a fire arrow. Okay. I'll just wait here. I'm probably better off just starting again because I've only got one bit of life left. Die! That was very cryptic. That's not something you've ever had to do in the game before. Oh no, I missed it. Ah! Uh... So there's no point going down at all. Why did it mention that then? It said go and check out what's below if you want or something. I think I got one hit, maybe. It's a shame there's no boss music. Was there any reason you didn't decide to include any boss music? Because the rest of the music in the game is really good. <laughs> I think calling yourself a bad person is taking it a bit too far. Have you watched any other Let's Plays or anyone stream the game before? Did anyone else get stuck in this spot? <clears throat> 
I mean, it's pretty easy to do once you figure it out, so it's not too bad. I'd always be absolutely terrified of watching someone else play a game that I made and just rip it to pieces, so I hope I haven't been too harsh. Okay, two more hits. I'm going to make the uh, very long-running joke now. Uh, that I hope one, day, one day I'll make a game. I bet you were waiting for me to say that. Alright. Guess we'll have to try again. I know what I'm doing now, though. Whoa, he's firing a load more than normal. <laughs> you waited for a year to explain how to beat the final boss. Oh no. Sorry, spoilers for everyone who was planning to play this. Whoa! Why did I catapult over to him? Really? That's only the 30th time? More like 300th, right? Whoa! Ah! I brought up the uh, analogue menu there. Down and select. Hey, that was a good shot. I was making a game with a bunch of people for a game jam, but everyone's got too busy and all got burnt out, so there hasn't been any progress on that for a while now, unfortunately. To be honest, I haven't been able to do anything on there either. I was doing the programming. It was pretty fun, but there were so many weird things with Unity that I just don't understand yet. <clears throat> hey, we're getting closer. Yeah, Godot seems really good. I was actually doing a lot of tutorials in that last year. I made a little Mega Man fan game where you, you play as a Mega Man sprite, basically, and you just run around and push balls into holes. It was good to get used to how the engine works. It seems really, uh, really intuitive, especially compared to Unity, which is very overwhelming. Although I am getting the hang of it, at least I understand how to link the C-sharp scripts together which, before starting this game jam, I had no clue about. So that's, you know, it's good knowledge to have. And it's changed a lot since I learnt Unity back in uni. There's so many more features to it, and um, making prefabs and stuff seems a lot easier now. I swear, towards the end of this fight, he's firing less bullets. Was that intentional? Okay, last hit. Here we go. Let's do it. Yay! You why? Ah! Alligator. It was an alligator. He just ate him. Now, where are we going next? The zoo. Back to the zoo. The human zoo. Okay. Great job, son. Four of the strongest wild animals are now free. Thank you, healer and son. Why have you done that? Why did you get in all of this? Listen to me. The master and slave relationship is over. Animals now have a conscience and are free to set the relationship they prefer. No more prisons. No more zoos. Yay! The animals are free! Until the sequel, coming soon, now on Kickstarter. Studio loading. Is that a Kojima style ending screen? Produced by, directed by, 
Special thanks to... Oh, their names are going off the top of the screen there. Here we go. Meanwhile, in the sewers. Is there more? A snake came out of the sewer. What's going on here? Carmen Riders back fighting snakes. Thank you, my friend. Why my beast betrayed me? I smelled they feared more than that more that healer than you. It's time then, it's time for them to wake up. Some time ago they were called lizards. The moon changed them into my dragons. I won't lie, I didn't entirely understand what was going on through a lot of that. Uh, but it was a fun game. I'm guessing in the sequel you have to fight the dragons. So, oh yeah, I'm playing on the Super Game Boy so I can change the color schemes. So thanks for watching everyone. That was uh, Flying Arrows by Studio Loading. There's the box. I'll be doing a proper full unboxing and a proper discussion around my thoughts and opinions on it in a future video, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Just a quick stream today because I'm going straight back now to finish editing my N64 video because I'm going away on Thursday, so I've only got today and tomorrow to finish making that. Ah, there's so much to do, so thank you so much for watching. I'm glad I managed to play all the way to the end, to the end of this game. I've been meaning to do that for a long time, so like I said at the start, go and support Studio Loading and check out the Kickstarter, and I'll see you all again on Twitch very soon. Goodbye.